the position we have taken was come to after a very spirited debate was had among members of cabinet. The cabinet is no different from the wider society. And this issue has attracted different opinions, different opinions that are fiercely held. Cabinet therefore wants it to be made absolutely clear that the position taken is driven principally by what the Honorable Attorney General has said, a considered examination of the legal merits or otherwise of an appeal. In other words, there are very many members of cabinet who would want to make clear that their support of the decision taken must be placed in that narrow legal context. It should not be interpreted as any blanket support for LGBT positions. Similarly, there are members of cabinet who do support those positions. And that is why it is so important to make clear that where cabinet comes together and is prepared to act as one in a united fashion is on this question of the legal merits of the decision given by the Honorable Chief Justice. Cabinet also wants to make the point that while in and of itself this is a corrosively divisive issue, it is made more so in consequence of the tremendous degree of misunderstanding, misapprehension, and misinformation that surrounds the issue. Cabinet considers that government has a duty to do in a more expansive way what the Honorable Attorney General has done, that is, to have the AG and the other ministers uh, do the media circuit in order to seek to educate the public, number one, as to the reasons for cabinet's decision, but number two, and more importantly, as to what exactly the judgment means and as to what the judgment does not mean. When I speak about misunderstanding, misapprehension, misinformation, I'm not being judgmental. I'm just being factual. 